Late Night Tales, they've been really good at choosing artists who obviously are really passionate about music yeah. and who look for interesting things. I've discovered loads of artists through writing sleeve notes for the Late Night Tales series, you know, different different tracks that people have selected are by artists that I either didn't know before or I didn't know the, the song that they've chosen. So I'm Bill Brewster, I run a website called DJ History and I DJ in various places around the country and the world. Uh, I run a party called Low Life and uh, I write books with my writing partner Frank Broughton. I uh, was asked to come and DJ at the Boiler Room with uh, Friendly Fires about three months ago and um, I brought with me a particular set of records, the kind of stuff that I would play early in the evening at Low Life, starting off very, very slow, but electronic, groovy kind of music, and then kind of building up a little bit, but essentially quite slow dance music. It's a style that I really enjoy playing. It's harder to pull off when you're playing in a club, but it's really rewarding when it works. And uh, I played something similar at, at Boiler Room and Paul, who runs uh, Late Night Tales, really liked what I played and felt that there might be a compilation. Okay, so this is by an Indian artist that was working in Germany in the 1970s. She later signed to TK Records. Um, I first heard this about 12 years ago around at, um, my friend Luke Howard's flat. Luke these days is now resident at Rosmeet Disco, but um, he's an old friend of mine. Um, he played me it and then I spent the next 18 months trying to track it down. In the days before Discogs and, and before eBay was as big as it is now, uh, it could take you quite a long time to find a record that you were after. And uh, it, took me, it took me over a year actually to find this record. Um, but it's uh, one of my treasured possessions. Space Talk, the track that I chose for the compilation, uh, is the best track on the album, although there's a couple of other really good ones as well. Um, but I'm very keen on any song with space in the title because often it has crazy moves and synths and stuff like that. So I'm, anytime I'm in a charity shop, I always buy uh, any songs with space in the title in the hope that there's some sort of uh, synthesizer action on it somewhere. And often there is. Space. Okay, so this one is a record that I was sent by White Noise. I know that I was sent it by White Noise because I've still got the promo sheet in there. And uh, it's on a label called Dysfunction, which uh, is run by Kevin Mackay from Glasgow Underground. He run several different labels in the late eight, at 90s and early noughties. Um, this is a track that is a huge, was a huge anthem at Low Life when we used to do our parties at uh, Fortress Studios near at the back of Old Street. And this is a record, every time I play it, it reminds me of the, of the big dirty basement in Fortress Studios and playing that record, um, which if you don't have, you should buy. It's very good. <laughs> Right, I bought this at Black Market, and the reason I know that is because it's got a Black Market sticker in there. Um, I can't remember how old this is now, it's probably about 2004 maybe, so about nine years old. It's a, a record from Japan. Um, I don't know very much about Herbust Moon, um, but I know that they used to record on a label called Lifeline, which unfortunately isn't going anymore. And uh, But I really love this, re this remix by uh, Franz Barquet. It's sort of real late night, lots of percussion, lots of kind of spacey Rhodes piano and stuff like that. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a real fave. And I, I love the drawing on it. It's kind of sort of slightly amateurish, but in a, but in a really good way. Um, I love those kind of, I don't know, it almost feels like outsider art when you look at it. But um, yeah, it's a brilliant record and one of my favorite Francois Kavorkian remixes. So this is a 
a record released on a, a French label. It's by a French artist called M, uh, and the track is called Machistador. It's sort of a rap record, a French rap record, but um, up tempo. And I first heard this in a club called The Paradise in on Liverpool Road in Islington when uh, a friend of mine, Ross Allen, played this. And uh, and uh, I went up and asked him what it was and bought it. It was a new release when he played it, and I think it came out in 1998, so it was uh, 15 years ago, so quite a long time ago now. But it's it's one of those records that uh, I come back to quite a lot. It's, I'll put it away and not play it for three or four years, and then and then I'll I'll pull it out again and start playing it. And recently I've been going through a period of sort of digging it out and playing it again. But um, it's a pretty timeless record, I think. And uh, and I love the rap, even though it's in French. No, 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 yeah, but it all. Oh, much is better. Okay, so this is a play. It's a plain sleeve. There's not much to see, but um, this is one of my charity shop records. Um, I found this in a charity shop about. 12 years ago. Um, it's on BBC Records. Um, it's a seven inch that uh, was a, a theme to a cop show called Quilla. So the band name is Quilla and the, and the name of the song is Quilla as well. But it's just super, super funky kind of big band funk, I suppose, for uh, want of a better description. It's written by a pair called Denton and Cook who also did um, several other TV things as well, and they, they wrote library records as well. And uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the stuff that they did. It's really good, and I, I love this. It's one of those records, when you hear it, you'll, you'll recognise it because it's been sampled and used on quite a, quite a lot of other mixes and albums and, and stuff like that. This is by, uh, this is on a really, really cool um, Australian label called Future Classic, who have uh, some very good artists signed actually. There's a guy called Flume, uh, who's sort of just put an album out recently that's really, really good. Uh, but this is, when's this from? I think this is about t uh, 2005, so it's about eight years old now. But there's a, a Brennan Green remix on here, which um, I've played pretty constantly since it came out. It's sort of, sort of house, but like so slow that most people wouldn't play. It's about 108, 109 BPM, but um, it's fantastic. I love it. It's really dark and, and sort of grubby sounding, but um, it's a real kind of danceable favourite for me and one that I've played pretty consistently since, since it was released. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is by Jamiroquai. It's called All Right, but it's a, a remix by um, DJ Desire, uh, which came out whenever All Right came out, 2002 maybe, I can't remember, 2001. But um, when I used to play a lot at Fabric, I often used to go back to John Marsh's house after we finished playing. John was also a resident at Fabric, and he'd get loads of records out and say, have you heard this, have you heard that? And uh, and this is one of the records he introduced me to. This is a uh, really slow, it's about 105 BPM, but very dubby, uh, perfect kind of late night music for me. And this is one of the records that John introduced me to. So, uh, so cheers, John. Mm -hmm. 